Accidental shootings have taken the lives of several children across the state this summer. And often it seems as though the child's curiosity is what ultimately pulled the trigger. Psychologist Kim Dempsey says young children usually don't understand how dangerous guns are. Sometimes they don't really understand that like that dad is really dead, you know, and that kind of thing. So they don't really understand the full impact and cause and effect at, at a young age. But Dempsey says kids aren't always the ones to blame. Sometimes parents have unrealistic expectations to what kids will understand. That, oh, my kids would never do that or they would never touch a gun. And, and, and sometimes they do. Many argue that children shouldn't even play with toy guns, fearing it could make them more at ease to play with a real one. In 2009, Arkansas banned the sale of realistic-looking toy firearms. So we asked you on our Facebook page what you thought about kids playing with toy guns. Many of you said you do let your child play with them. Tabitha says, my kids love toy guns. I tell them to point them away from people and point them to shoot the wall or their bed. Leanne says, I have a four-year-old that has a toy gun. We have explained to him, you never point at yourself or another person. When it is not being used, it goes into the gun safe. We're strict. You have to instill gun safety, no matter if it's a toy or a real thing. Many child activists say children think playing with guns is also okay because of what they've seen in movies, on TV, and in violent video games. We have a lot of those first-person shooter games, and I think a lot of times the kids that, that have attention problems or impulse problems, that, that when they're, they're playing that all the time, they kind of don't really understand or kind of it's hard for them to distinguish reality from the games. Police advise people who do Take keep a gun in their home to keep the gun and ammunition in two separate locked locations. In Jefferson City, Megan Lane, KRCG News.